It's been a rough season for Maryland and their quarterbacks. The Terps have seen three quarterbacks injured and five quarterbacks play at least a snap in a game. Crazy, right? Almost every other game, Maryland's offense has to adjust to a new signal call. Let's take a look back at how the injury bug has been in Maryland's quarterbacks this season. Junior quarterback Caleb Henderson, who transferred to Maryland last season, was hoping to get the starting quarterback spot until he began dealing with foot and ankle injuries throughout the training camp. That led to sophomore Tyrell Pingram to be named the turf starting quarterback in the season opener against Texas. Pingram was showing progress as he threw for 175 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Unfortunately, Pingram saw his season come crashing down when he tore his ACL in the third quarter. Freshman quarterback Kasim Hill, who is regarded as the future of the quarterback position at Maryland, stepped up to the plate and led the turf past the Longhorns. He made his first career start in Maryland's win over Towson and was impressive through four quarters. As Maryland was satisfied with Hill running the offense, the Turks ran into another roadblock when Hill tore his ACL in the loss of Central Florida. Then there's Max Bordenslager, Maryland's third string quarterback who has started Maryland's last six games, has tallied 1,005 yards and 10 touchdowns while posting a 2-4 record. Bordenslager became the latest quarterback with injury problems when he got hurt in Maryland's loss to Rutgers last week and was replaced by quarterback Ryan Brand who only threw for 68 yards. Born Slogger is currently a game time decision for Saturday's game against Michigan. As Maryland's chances at a bowl appearance are diminishing, the Turks better hope they can finish the season with at least one starter quarterback before they have to turn to a defensive player like they did in 2012.